guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share some of my favorite um, fall finds from Target this season. It is only the beginning of October, so I'm sure more things will come out, but I feel like it's been very slim pickings. Like there has not really been much out. So I'm just gonna share with you what I picked up so far and what I'm loving. So the first thing is this hat. Um, I love it. I love that it's not too, I'll take it off. I love that it's not too hard. I love that it's very flexible and it's not too big. So when I put it on, it's not like super wide, but I just kind of wear it back a little bit. Um, I loved this hat so much that actually I picked it up in the tan color. These hats totally give me like lack of color vibes. If you guys know that line, but how cute, like with a white shirt and ripped up jeans. I love it. Um, a messy bun. And the detailing is so pretty. I mean, I think you can wear it forward too, but I just kind of like it back a little bit. So that's the first fashion thing that I'm loving. I'm going to start out with like the fashion type things first, and then we'll go into home decor. So the next thing is actually this pair of for loafers they are by the brand a new day they totally remind me of like the Gucci one so $25 you cannot beat it if you are kind of looking at the Gucci ones I highly recommend getting these ones first to make sure that you like the trend because obviously the Gucci ones are pricey and these are a little bit harder to style than I thought they would be um I wore them today as you can see like little creases on them and um they're cute, but I have to really do some research or look at Pinterest to see how to style these a little bit better because I just felt like, felt like I could pair them a little bit better. I don't know if that even makes sense, but these are really comfortable. If you do get them, I recommend sizing up like a half a size. I'm usually a seven, but I did get a seven and a half and I probably could have gone an eight because uh, you kind of step on the fur a little bit. So it kind of flies out which if you don't mind, but I don't know, I feel like I'd like for them not to be like super flat. So I probably could have sized up so that my foot kind of sat in here more and then didn't smash the fur on the bottom. But for $25, honestly, they're really, really good quality. Highly recommend. Um, the next thing, I don't really have that much fashion type things. The next thing is this oversized flannel. I love it. It is so soft. It's not hard. It's thin. Um, I got it in this like gray, black, brown, neutral color. And I just thought it would be really cute. I'm going to try it on for you guys. Um, I just thought it'd be really cute oversized. So I did size up. I'm usually a small on things or like a medium, but I did size up to a large and it already does come oversized. So I know it's going to fit big, but I kind of like it like with an all black outfit and like a tighter shirt underneath and leggings and just kind of like drape this on. Oh, it'd be cute so oh yes yes mind you i'm wearing like a really like you know big shirt already underneath but this is super cute it just came in the mail today actually so i'm really pumped but how cute is that like super slouchy and just not too fitted just kind of kind of loose like that you kind of wear it off the shoulder a little bit I love that. I also want to place an order for flannels from, Ur um, not Urban Outfitters. Oh, well, I love Urban Outfitter ones too. But um, Abercrombie, they have the prettiest green one. I had a friend on Instagram post a picture in it and it's super like loose like this. So I'm going to have to place an Abercrombie order very soon. Speaking of green flannel, I love green flannel. That's my favorite. I don't really love red. It's just not my... Red just doesn't look good on me. I don't love it, but I picked up these little flannel shorts. This is the kind of flannel I want, like this color. But how cute are these? I sized up to a medium because I like mine to fit really big. I don't want anything tight, but I thought these would be super cute with like that sweater that they have out. It's like white and it says Mary. I don't know. I just thought this would be really cute to wear for like Christmas morning or something at home or just all Christmas season. And then I also picked up the cheetah ones. So these ones are really soft. They don't fit too short. They're not, they like, you can kind of like pull them up a little bit. So they're not really, really short. Um, that's what I really loved about them. So that is everything for clothes. Let's jump into home decor. I'm sure that's why we're all here. Um, okay, so the first thing is just this little, oh, 
It's just this little basket. It's really cute. It's cream. I love the little leather accents. Target has really been stepping up their like basket situation. I remember before it would only be like the wickery ones, but these ones are just so, so cute. They come in a bunch of different sizes too. I think I'm going to get a couple more and use them to put like my remotes and stuff underneath my uh, coffee table. So that's really cute. And then the next fall thing is this little hand towel. It's gray and it says love fall most of all. So I loved it because it was very neutral and simple. Um, and you'll, I'm sure you guys will see a trend. Like everything that I'm picking out home decor wise is very neutral. So the next thing is this really cute little faux plant. This is by Threshold. I think it was 16, yeah, $16. Um, I thought this would be cute, like on an entryway or my coffee table, just a little pop of color, but I love that this is like a neutral, very light wood. Also from Threshold is this little pumpkin. It's also, I think it was also, yeah, also $16. It's smaller, but um, the wood is really pretty. I don't really like the bright orange kind of in your face fall decor. Um, I don't know. I just like the black, white, neutral creams. I was a little bit torn because I didn't know if I wanted to decorate for fall or Halloween. And I think I've decided next year I'm going to do like Halloween outside and then fall inside. Cause there's just more, there's just more to pick from. The next thing is this bowl. It's also from threshold and it was $25. So I thought this would be pretty all season long. I just put a bunch of these little pumpkins in it and they're just I think they just got these at um TJ Maxx and they're only $7.99 so this is what I have kind of hanging out on my island the next pumpkin situation is this little set they, they were sold separately but they were in the same area so these are on my coffee table these are by I want to say they're by threshold too. They had tags, so I cut them off, but they're really pretty. They kind of bring some texture in and they're not so flat like everything else. So this was kind of my pop of texture. And then the next thing I picked up are these throw pillows. So they're like that neutral linen color with a little bit of like a camel color, but I love the little string detailing on the side. That's really what sold me. This is by the Studio McGee line. So everything sold out so freaking quick. I was at the store the day that it came out because I love Studio McGee and her line with Target is so affordable compared to her regular line. So I was so excited because I was seeing the previews everywhere and things sold out super quick. So I did pick up two of those and I believe they were $25. Um, the last couple things I'm gonna have to bring you guys outside for. So come with me. Okay, you guys, so we're outside of my house right now. So the next thing is actually this mat, and it is from the Studio McGee line. As you can see, it's really oversized, so it's really perfect for pairing um, other rugs on top of it, and I thought it'd be pretty during Christmas time too. Um, and then these lanterns. So these lanterns are from the Heart and Hearth collection at Target. They're really big. I don't even know if the photos do them justice. So I started styling these um i'm waiting on one more larger candle to put in there but i just thought these would be such great statement pieces and even in um like the christmas time i could put ornaments in it and maybe some little twinkle lights so i have like a really high entryway so these big boys were perfect as like a little statement piece and then the last thing is actually this wreath I like it and I like how neutral it is and how it's just kind of like the burnt orange and there's not too much going on but I feel like I probably could do a bigger one because my door is so big. I don't know. You guys let me know where you guys like to find some of your fall home decor pieces but yeah guys that is everything for the outside. Okay you guys so that is everything that I picked up from Target in the last week or so. Um, let me know if your guys' targets have different inventory because mine just was super bare and I feel like I picked the best things that they had when they had them in stock. So, um, if you guys like videos like this and you guys like to see some of my fall favorites and 
random favorites, let me know, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.